Hey guys, it's Murph back again with another short video. Today we're working on a 2009 Dodge Ram 1500. The truck had no heat. Okay, I knew the heater core was getting heat because I checked the temperature of the lines going in and out of the heater core and they were both at 160, which is normal. And uh, I did have clicking under the dash and I knew that had to do with one of the, uh, I don't know what they call them, a servo or whatever it is. It, it spins when you change the airflow or temperature and it basically spins the flap on the other side to change where the flap's positioned. Now, most people tell you to pull the center console stuff to get to these two, okay? So I did that, and I started messing with these two, and my heat still didn't work. So I'm just gonna explain quickly that this one changes airflow to direction to go from up top on the defroster, and then all the way to the other side is blowing out of the vents, okay? Now this one right here, gets heat blowing out by your feet which works in conjunction with this one because you know you have your feet and then you have your feet into frost okay now I still didn't have heat and I couldn't figure it out and then what I did is I went over to the glove box you pull the right side of the glove box in and then the glove box will fall right out and there's another one over here that controls this flap and that controls hot or cold air up right now where it is is hot air down is cold air so I did somebody had unhooked it I bought this truck used and somebody had unhooked it before me because it was making that clicking sound all the time and that must have annoyed them. So all I did was flip that up and the heat was on because by default it was set down and the thing was unhooked. I think it's just hanging here somewhere. I can't see. It's kind of dark. But yeah, there it is. It's hanging. So, and that was it. So the, that one is behind the glove box. All right, guys. I'll catch you in the next one.